Don't be put off by steaming an Asian style fish at home. I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks for making this super delish dish. So I know not all of you are gonna have one of these big giant Chinese bamboo steamers. If you do, that's great. You can use it for this dish. If not, a little later on, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own steamer set up just with regular kitchen equipment. But first up, we're gonna start at the end. I'm going to prepare a little bit of a garnish first of all. And I'm gonna start with some spring onion. Okay, so take your spring onions and just cut them in half first of all and then grab a hold of the sort of white end and just try and slice through lengthways without getting any of your fingers um, and just slice everything into fairly fine strips. Now you'll see why we want everything so fine in a minute because it's going to help with the shape of our finished spring onions. We're going to make curly spring onions, that's what we're doing. Now with the greens it's a little easier, I just sort of bunch them up and just slice. Okay, now just throw these into a bowl of some cold water and we'll come back and see how pretty these are at the end. In the meantime, let's deal with our fish. So I'm using some beautiful sea bass fillets today. Any kind of white uh, fish fillet is fine. Actually, you know, I've done this with salmon as well. It works well. So this is a great one to use for any kind of fish, really. And I want to flavor it with some ginger. And the best way to peel your ginger is just with a teaspoon. And now I want some really nice, fine shards of ginger. So the way we do that is slice this way first and then lengthways into beautiful thin strips. Mm, I love the smell of ginger, it is so comforting and beautiful and aromatic, ah, oh, yum. Okay, now lay these strips of ginger out on top of your fish. I go hard on the ginger because I like it, but totally up to you how much you'd like to use. And now we need a sauce. So really simple, a little bit of soy sauce and some lime, and I like to just sort of push down a bit on my lime on the chopping board just to release all the juices inside. Squeeze that in with the soy sauce. Okay, a little mix. And then that gets poured over the top of our fish and ginger. Now let's talk about the steaming setup. So I'm just gonna use any old kind of wide, quite deep pan, and then make sure you've got a tight fitting lid that will go on top of that. Now what we need to do is make ourselves a little trivet and just take some foil, bunch or fold it up into a long piece. And now just roll it round until you've got a nice sort of round circle. And this is gonna keep the bottom of the plate up from the bottom of the pan. Okay, pop that into your pan. Now, your plate, and I should have mentioned earlier, you should make sure that your plate is smaller <laughs> than your pan, obviously. And then that sits quite nicely and firmly on top of our foil. Just push that down, make sure. And now we wanna fill the pan up with some water and you want it to come almost to like the bottom of the plate. You need a steady hand. Don't be pouring water all over your fish. <laughs> now turn the heat on up high, first of all. And I just wanna wait until I can start to see a little bit of steam coming up from the water before I put the lid on. So I can see the little tendrils of steam coming up from that water. So I'm gonna put the lid on and these fish fillets are around about 200 grams or about seven ounces. So I find with that size fillet, it's usually around 10 to 12 minutes uh, steaming time. But if you've got thicker fillets or you're using salmon, you might need to keep them in there a little longer. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and before my fish has finished cooking, I'm going to heat up a little bit of oil. Now this is another key tip to getting this like restaurant style version at home. So what we wanna do is add a little bit of vegetable oil and some sesame oil into a saucepan. And it should be pretty quick to heat up because it's only a little bit of oil. And as soon as I can see those little bubbles forming when I pop a wooden spoon into the oil, that's when I know it's ready. So I'll just keep it warm on the stove top, but I'll turn the heat off because I don't want to overheat the oil. And let's have a look at our fish. Mm, the smell of that ginger and the soy sauce are so good. Ultimate comfort food right here. Okay, now use a tea towel because you don't want to burn your little fingers. Carefully lift that plate out and over onto like a cutting board or something because the plate is hot, you don't want to burn your bench top. And now check out our amazing spring onions that have turned all curly and lovely and pretty. 
Okay, just put a whole bunch of those on top of each fillet. And I love that there's so much sauce in this dish because I like to serve this with some steamed rice and I pour that sauce all over my rice. It's the perfect bowl for me. And now for the magical sizzle. And that will kind of take out some of the harshness of the onion and add a beautiful sesame oil fragrance as well. And just because you know me and I love a little bit of extra spice, I'm gonna throw on a few slices of chili there as well. And there you have it guys, easy. You can make it at home with no special equipment. Plus you can still make it as epic as a restaurant. Trust me, you guys are gonna love this one.